Hello and welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. Welcome to the Odd Squad. I know I have a lot of new members. We are at about 518 as of I'm record as of when I'm recording this video. So welcome to all of the new Odd Squad people. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you to those that have been um, subscribed as well. I truly appreciate your support. And I do have a 500 sub giveaway that will be coming up, I promise. But today I need to cash stuff my second September paycheck. So we have 971. And don't mind my broken nail here. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and count this. Okay, so we have 1, 100, 200, 300, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, and 30. Five, <coughs> excuse me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 971, and I forgot my sort quick. Okay. okay, so I also sorted. I'm putting all my G, H, and J bucks. This is the only J buck. The other ones that I put in the back were G and H bucks to possibly go towards the Maui donation. So I'm going to put that aside for a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wallet first. And let's see what we have going on in here. So first I do have change from when I was out and about shopping. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is first and foremost going to go into the Maui donation. So I'm not going to put it in there yet, but I'm just going to put that aside. So when I do that binder, that's already there. And then, oh, I do have a lot of coin. Oh my God. Holy moly. I think I dropped one, but I don't see it. Okay, not sure. So, that is a lot of change this time. So that is gonna go into the jar. Um, so I, I did get some happy mail recently. I haven't recorded that yet. I will show that at a later time. But in that, I did receive as a freebie from the shop owner a penny or like change challenge. It's like the kind of the one where it starts out at a penny to three and goes all the way to like three dollars and something so that you end up with the six hundred and sixty seven dollars and um, change. So I was thinking about maybe doing that and maybe counting like what's already in here so if that's if that's something you want to see let me know so on to the wallet okay so dining out is getting 20 
So that gives us 20, 40, 60, 81. Oops. Okay, groceries has just 40 and is getting 60. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81. And I may add to this. Um, I'll probably talk about that later. Shopping just has, there's some coupons and my gift card in there, so there's not anything in here right now, but I'm just adding 30. I don't really usually do a whole lot of shopping out and about, but um, if I need to get something. Entertainment currently has 50 and is just getting 20, so 20, 40, 60, 70. And self care has 50, 70, 80. This is getting another 30. I am supposed to be getting my hair done today, so we'll see. This will probably be mostly depleted, so 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. 50, 70, 90, 110. And then... Miscellaneous currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We are supposed to be going to um, a fair on Monday, the 18th. So that's probably what I'm going to use. Um, I had extra money in my buffer because um, I had credit cards um, like scheduled to pay but then I ended up paying those credit cards off so I ended up having extra money in my account so I just put that aside for um, for that and then I do also have this envelope desk I'll just kind of use this to supplement other envelopes if I need to I currently have five in there I'm adding ten so just kind of a little extra if there or if there's something that I want to do that doesn't really fall into one of the other um, categories. Okay, so that is that for wallet. And those envelopes, um, the, oh, these, um, envelopes in here came from Lily Budget, so go check her out. She has a YouTube and an Etsy shop. Okay, and now we are on to my long-term binder. Um, let's see. Okay, so for oops, taxes, I currently we currently have three hundred and forty-nine. This is getting. 80 so we will be at 429 and this is my bling pen from Erica black and blue she has a website so go check her out so we're adding 80 so 100 200 300 20 40 60 80 400 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 429. Okay, so typically for my long-term binder, <clears throat> I do have some savings challenges that I was doing. I don't know if I'm going to do those this time. Um, I kind of only put aside money for a couple of these envelopes, so I need to continue to put aside for the annual payments because those are things that are going to continue to come up. So this one is getting 
53, so that will be 595. Okay. So again, this should be 595. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 550, 570, 590, 591, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these labels all came from Supernatural Budgets. See, she has a Shopify um, site uh, for insurance. This one currently has 380 and is getting 30. So 410, and I believe that makes this fully funded. I think, um, let me see, I needed about four hundred and four dollars so this is now fully funded so let me add the 30 because I don't think I did Oops. so 100 200 300 320 100 200 320 40 60 80 410 so let me that in there and then I think I have uh, I will have to I think they're in here I have some fully funded these came from crafted by free um, on Etsy and budget with free on YouTube um, so that's where those fully funded slips came from. So go check her out as well. But that is really cool because that means that's $30 that can go towards that each paycheck. So six, almost $60 extra a month. Um, I'm not putting anything aside for anything else except for... Because I usually do the savings challenges, but I don't know if I'm going to do those. So we'll see in a minute I have to put something aside for my mom so she has 20 40 65 she normally gets 50 so 20 whoops 20 40 50 so 20 40 <laughs> good lord okay let's get it together 20 40 60, 80, 1, 10, and 15. Let me see if she is up here to do her scratch off. Mom, you want to do your scratch off? Maybe. <laughs> Well, I thought you were going to stop it. <laughs> well, you were right there, so. <laughs> oh, well. Are you trying to see what they are? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just eeny, meeny, miny, moan. Ooh, 18. One. Cool. Alrighty. Okay, so she scratched another 18. We are at 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So I'm actually going to switch some of these out just to give her some bigger <laughs> denominations. So, okay, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. I'll put this in the back. So, um, if anybody has come up with a name for my turtle here, let me know. School, um, school loans are supposed to be starting up in October, so I've been starting to put money aside. I believe this is at least one payment, so, or maybe a payment and a half. So we have 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 
to 11, 12, 13. So it's about a payment and a half. So we're going to put another 71. I did get confirmation that the, um, I did qualify for like the new repayment program that they are going to have. So, um, my payment went from about 168 down to about 142. So that's what I've been 141 and change, but, um, so this should be two payments, I think. So 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Perfect. So I'll, once those come, um, start up again, I'll probably start to either keep it in the bank. Um, I'm going to have to see like what it says for payments and everything. So, so far, um, for this month, I have one of the cards that maybe has like a 560 or so um, balance on it that I want to pay off, <clears throat> excuse me, pay off between this paycheck and my last September paycheck. So the 100s that I have here are going to be um, going towards that. Now, in regards to the rest of this money, um, so a couple things like kind of, um, going on. I, I do want to try to put as much of that as I can towards, sorry for all the noise, um, cars going by, um, towards debt. Um, I may do a little bit in my holiday binder. Um, I'm not sure yet, but let me see how much I have left. So I've been trying to kind of help my mom out a little bit more because she doesn't really love to cook. Um, I work all day, so usually she's the one that ends up um, cooking. But I wanted to try to maybe go to the grocery store and get um, some items that I could kind of do like a freezer prep kind of thing where I'm either cooking something, you know, like maybe on the weekends, and then I can put that into like Ziploc bags and freeze it so we can use it as a later, at a later time, or um, compile like all of the ingredients, freeze it, and then it's just easy to throw onto a sheet pan or into a crock pot or skillet or something like that. Um, so it just makes it easier when you know she doesn't really feel like cooking or if she doesn't want to cook it makes it easier for me to after I'm getting out of work because um, I work 10 hour days when I um, on the days that I work so usually after work I don't really feel like cooking either but we also don't want to have to order out all the time <clears throat> either so currently I have 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 45 55 65 75 85 95 96 97 98 99 so we have 99 um dollars here i think i'm just gonna go ahead and put the additional four dollars and especially this j buck into the maui So that will just go there. Um, I'm probably going to go to the grocery store after I get my hair done. So I'm going to, for the time being, I'm going to put this into my wallet. And if I need to use any of this for some of the groceries after what I already put aside um, in here for groceries, so I'm going to, I'm going to use this first, but then if I need anything additional, I'm going to use this. So we will see, cause I don't want to use credit cards I'm trying to stay away from that. <laughs> um, I, I have a couple of meals in mind. I think we may go to like a produce stand or a farmer's market to kind of get some of the veggies that ends up being a lot less expensive than getting them at the grocery store unless the grocery store is having a sale. Um, but I think I want to do, um, well, let me actually show you. I wrote down some, um, recipes. So we have, 
I don't know if I'm going to do this one. This is a chicken broccoli rice casserole that you can kind of like compile all together, put in a Ziploc bag. Then you thaw it, you just put it into a casserole dish um, and then bake it in the oven. Some of these are um, like crock pot um, meals. I think I want to do the pulled pork. So um, the grocery store that I want to go to has the pork on sale. There's like a beef and broccoli teriyaki. So this is kind of one where you prep some of the ingredients, put them into the Ziploc bag, and then you can just um, let it thaw and then cook it up in a skillet. So it makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of like making your own because we get HelloFresh and Home Chef sometimes for dinner kits. So that's kind of the same like concept as what I'm trying to do here. When you get the HelloFresh or Home Chef, they give you all of the ingredients the, that you need. The, it's usually the only thing that maybe they don't give you is like salt and pepper to season, um, butter or oil for like your pan. Um, but you have a por a pre-portioned meat, pre-portioned veggies, pre-portioned like starches, and it's all in the bag. Um, so it makes it really easy to just kind of, you know, like cook it up. But usually those have a, a bit more like steps as far as you know something like that is concerned but something like this it's like you're preparing you know certain things you're making like the sauce so all you have to do is really throw the meat in the skillet cook it up throw in the veggies cook it up throw on the sauce cook it up it's just easier um so i i think i want to do the pulled pork um and and maybe like this this uh we have a stuffed bell pepper soup um i may do like a um, stuffed peppers because those are those freeze really good. We usually get some from Costco. They sell containers of six stuffed peppers, and for my mom and I, one each because they're so huge um, is enough for dinner. So we'll package them in twos, um, and she'll cook them up in a casserole, bake it in the oven, um, and you know that'll be our dinner. But it's like super super easy because all you have to do is transfer let it thaw, transfer it to a cooking pan, throw it in the oven, maybe top some sauce and some cheese and it's um, good to go. So I make, I may make stuffed peppers that we can freeze. Um, so if I can make, you know, more of them and then I may find a, like a freezer pep recipe for maybe some kind of like cabbage roll soup, or something like that, something a little bit different than the bell pepper soup. So we're not like overloaded on like stuffed bell pepper stuff. <laughs> But we'll see. Um, I kind of started a list for some of these, but I'm probably going to go to the grocery store today and see what I can um, find on sale so that I can kind of set up some of these meals for us. So wish me luck on that. I will come back. Um, I'll have a separate video after I do all of this um, to see what we have left to put into the holiday binder. Um, I'm sure that I'll I'll have some you know, that I can, that I can put aside still. I'm not trying to go crazy at the grocery store. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or recipes for me to look up for like freezer pep type of meals, comment them down below. I am definitely interested. Um, but until next time, <laughs> bye for now.